Hello, I'm Jeffrey Fox, and I'm introducing a new class called Xinformatics. The class covers the implications of big data, the use of data analytics on big data, and then the application of big data plus analytics in areas of in multiple areas indicated by the term Xinformatics. This is the first class, and it will start the introduction to the field, which will be continued in later classes. First, some trends. Xinformatics and its importance and excitement is driven by some important technology and community trends. The first is the data deluge itself, which we see in a variety of areas which we will indeed cover. There's e-commerce, exemplified by Amazon, eBay. There is the community applications, such as search and social media, Facebook. And there's scientific applications, such as astronomy, and the um, search for new particles in, at the, with the Large Hadron Collider and other accelerators. The data deluge is is used on lightweight clients, which are growing importance. These lightweight clients are back-ended by clouds, and the clouds themselves will use multi-core chips to do the processing of data, which gets delivered to these clients. These multi-core chips enable a substantial amount of parallel computing, and this parallel computing then in a different uh, implementation drive so-called exascale initiatives, which allow very detailed simulations, which can be very important in, in, in several areas. However, this class will not discuss the implications of exascale simulations. We will, as we've mentioned, include clouds, because clouds are the natural way to process the data deluge. We will find that clouds are suitable for data-intensive applications plus providing cheap, environmentally friendly uh, computing. There also, the computing is easier to use in uh, many ways. A final important uh, feature of the data deluge and the modern status of technology is the new jobs, and indeed the new curricula associated with these new jobs. These span from areas like cloud computing as a class, which is can be thought of as part of a classic computer science distributed systems class. It can be thought of as a statistics or data mining or machine learning class, which covers the data analytics, which is the processing of the, of the, of the data. And another important um, trend is classes and curricula and the importance of social media and the field of network science or complex systems because that provides a lot of the data that we see in the deluge. Now, this is a very important slide. It defines most of the key terms used in this class. The deluge starts with data or raw data. This raw data is produced by instruments, such as the Large Hadron Collider, or by satellites, or by little sensors scattered around the globe. It also can be produced by email, social media updating Facebook, and just generally the web. That data is converted into information. Or by definition, information is data for which modest cleanup has been done to make it better structured and easier to, to think about and to process. And uh, we will reserve the term information when no deep which is a sort of rather um, vague concept when then deep processing has been done to it. After information, we get knowledge, wisdom, and decisions. And knowledge, wisdom, decisions, or the policies that come from decisions, when those are made by the government and related decision-making organizations, they come from applying deep, sophisticated machine learning, data mining or other uh, processing to information. So we go data, information, knowledge, wisdom, decisions, policy. 
And data analytics describes these conversion processes as we go through this pipeline with either simple or sophisticated computing filters. That's data analytics. And it's a very important area where huge progress has been made over the last few years. We will use the term data science to describe this entire process of taking data into wisdom. And we can also use it for an academic field which describes this process. Finally, we come to the actual name of the course, X Informatics. And there is no point in doing any of this unless it's useful. And it's going to be useful in a particular application area, such as biology. So bioinformatics is the application of these ideas to biological data. And pathology informa informatics is the application of these ideas to imagery, imagery coming from um, medical devices. Here, this slide just summarizes the course in one sentence. This course studies clouds, which run data analytics programs. Those programs process big data, which they actually then produce wisdom, and they solve problems in X informatics. <coughs> so let's see what X informatics areas exist. In general, you could imagine lots existing. And if you go to the internet, you will find many, many have been defined. Uh, the life science area is particularly replete with the X informatics areas. There's biomedical informatics, medical informatics, bioinformatics, chem informatics, health informatics, pathology informatics. An interesting area is lifestyle informatics, which um, if you at least if you had the connotation it was better lifestyle will be sort of related to health informatics. But more generally, you could say it's just informatics devoted to, to making our life, to en enabling our lifestyle when it would actually correspond to the technology to enable data processing in Facebook and similar applications. When we come to science, we have astroinformatics or astronomy informatics, energy informatics, the study of uh, smart grids and their processing. Radar informatics, studying the processing of data from radar, or maybe more specialized fashion synthetic aperture radar. Uh, the particle physics discoveries of the Higgs boson emphasize the importance of physics informatics, although that field tends not to be used with that name. In the school in, in Bloomington, Indiana, we have a social informatics group, so that's a nice def def example of X informatics. If you go on the internet, you will find the financial related informatics, business, wealth, marketing, financial informatics. Another uh, area in the school is security informatics. Related to that is crisis informatics, the technology to deal with the response to earthquakes um, and other, other natural hazards. There's also intelligence informatics, which you could say is the use of informatics to support the um, national security applications. Finally, a slightly different context is policy informatics, uh, where really informatics produces policies. I don't think there's an informatics of policy itself, because effectively every X many X informatics fields impact policy. But you will find many policy informatics activities defined already. These um, galaxy of um, X informatics areas is defined in this slide here, which just has a set of logos for the fields I've already discussed. In the bottom right, you have lifestyle informatics and energy informatics. Uh, on the top uh, right and left, you actually have two uses of the term X informatics I discovered on the web. And in there, you will find the other ones I've already mentioned. Uh, on the previous slide. So this is a well-defined area, but up to now has never been really uh, discussed from this, the unified point of view, which we will take in this class.